with you um, to commemorate the World Environment Day. Um, I would also like to um, give a special thanks to uh, Observer Research Foundation for uh, their support in uh, this event. Environment is something that is really close to uh, our heart in Canada, and not only because it's a necessity, but because we, we have so much land that it seems that the environment is part of our DNA. Um, World Environment Day, as it was so well described, is the UN's most important day for uh, encouraging worldwide awareness and action for the protection of our environment. It is a call to action for all of us to come together to combat one of the greatest challenges of our time. Canada has and will continue to put forward the necessary efforts on countering environment degradation and climate change issues back home, as well as on the international stage by advancing on our priorities. Top of mind is the Government of Canada's full intent to meet its climate obligations under the Paris Agreement. In Canada, last October, October 2018, Prime Minister Trudeau announced the result of working with provinces and territories to design climate plans that include putting a price on carbon pollution. That is because pollution is not free. The world is paying a price today in terms of record storms, wildfires, floods and heat waves and drought in some places here, all of which carry real economic costs. Putting a price on carbon pollution encourages people and businesses to cut emissions and promoting a cleaner environment and a stronger economy today. In addition, Canada aims to continue its leadership role on plastics, oceans, and resilience through the G7, including the advancement of the Ocean Plastic Charter. You probably know that Canada has the longest coastline in the world. Our coasts support traditional indigenous and coastal community livelihoods, enable the export and import of our goods overseas, are home to abundant Canadian fisheries, attract tourism, and play a key role in strengthening the economy and growing our middle class. This is why Canada has had a National Oceans Protection Plan in place since November 2016. The plan was developed based on work done over two years between indigenous and coastal communities and various government programs. On ocean protection, we understand that we share this concern with the world, and especially here in Mumbai. Canada and India really do have common goals, and we can do something about it every day. And when we talk about common goals, it was already mentioned the uh, interaction between Prime Minister Trudeau when he met with uh, your Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, in the February 20, 2018 visit, where it was clear that there were common goals and common objectives and strengths in coming together. We will have among us later today a young climate warrior, Mr. Malar Kalambe, who will talk over about how we all can do something in order to save our oceans and tackle marine pollution. Before Malar comes uh, in the front here, we will be screening an inspiring and powerful Canadian environmental documentary film from 2018, directed by Yolande Cadrin Rossignol. It presents the works of scientists, writers, and artists working alongside Canadian scientist Hubert Reeves and philosopher Frédéric Lenoir to highlight the impact of climate change and, and ways of forging solutions to preserve our environment. I would like to wish you a great and green evening. Enjoy the movie, and I look forward to the discussion that follows. Without further ado, I think we can start the movie, Earth Seen from the Heart, La Terre Vue du Coeur. Thank you. <laughs> 